Hello. Hello. Is this John? It is. John, you're always the early bird, man. Yeah, I try to get on here and just in case there's some sort of issue. I got a, uh, I got this sucker recording, so me and you are live right now. So let's keep it. I want to keep this. Um, keep this all about. This is gonna be about. Uh, I got a lot of appointment setters coming on board onto this, and uh -huh. I, I can distribute appointment setters throughout the business. Um, okay. We're gonna earn anywhere from five to ten percent per sale. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna have one specific person. Um, really running the show, I guess you should say. Uh-huh. So I'm not sure. I'm going to tell everybody the webinar. Want. Let's see if I can get everybody on here now. I got a new girl coming on board who wants to get in and she'd like to um so anyhow let me see if I can turn this side like this. Anyhow, that's what it is, man. I got um, appointment setters coming on board. I got new agents coming on board. I got, um, you know, the, the contract levels are going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm also doing a webinar here, guys, so just so you're aware. So um, this is you guys are joining in on a webinar on Facebook Live. So, John, with the lead programs that I've been investigating out there for reps, there are some unbelievable – uh, opportunities out there for for sales reps to join in on some of these lead programs. They're going to be phenomenal. They're going to be unbelievable, in fact. And I just think a lot of people don't take the due diligence to go out there and research what's going on out there as sales reps, life insurance sales reps. And what we right. have, you know, do, we're doing that work for these guys. And once they come on board, I think that they just trust their IMOs way too much. They trust the, 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 the people that they work up who are up above them too much. And, and at the end, they end up making a low six figure or, or five figure income. And everybody seems satisfied when they could easily be a quarter of a million, half a million dollars a year with the same amount of time invested. Right. Not going oh, I agree. But I agree. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. So the leads are, leads are a big deal. You know, on Facebook, people tell me a lot of what they're going through and, my, my job and my, your job, I got one of my managers, John Trice, on here, and he's here to cure the issues that we have, guys. And I'm telling you right, right, right now is that if you join our group, you're going to have more lead flow. You're going to pay less. You're going to see that there's things out there after nine years of doing this now. I have researched every opportunity out there. I've worked at a lot of places, guys. I've helped a lot of organizations build. And the one thing I do know is that there's better opportunity out there. So I think one guy was just on the web. I got a webinar, Dr. Frank Beery. How are you, buddy? John Medwin's in the house. Okay. So, John, what we're doing is we're discussing. Jeremy's on. We got, we're discussing. We're going to go over appointment setting. I want to make sure that that's down. Reason being is because I got appointment setters joining the group. Um, with that being said, uh, I don't have that particular individual on yet, so I'm hoping that they jump on real soon. Here, I, I did set this for three, so there's five minutes left. And I have a turkey in the oven, too. So if you see me fly out the room, you know it's because I got a turkey. And, I, yeah, I am a cook, guys, by the way. Look, here's the bottom line, John and John and Jeremy, is that we have an opportunity of a lifetime. You got nice contract levels, man. You got real nice contract levels, okay? We'll keep that – Keep that between us, but on Facebook, you're going to want to discuss this with me because I have amongst the highest contract levels in the industry. These guys on here can vouch for that. They are extremely high, and that's going to help your situation. It's going to help you get to 100% when 
when you're out there selling these products. So as you know, if you're at 120%, you're not even earning 100% contract level because of a 75% rip that the uh, life insurance agency takes, or the life insurance carriers take, along with your agent upline. So we're trying to make it so everybody's earning it above 100%. You know, as a sales rep, but then as a manager that you're able to hire agencies that are already established who need help. And that's what these things are about. This one will be, um, you're logged in from another device. Messenger is not. And I logged in from another device. Anyway, uh, Jeremy. Can you hear me? I'm gonna unmute you, buddy. Oh, we're fighting on who's unmuting it. Okay. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, bud. So look, here's the here's the here's what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish the the company's layout, which we're which we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go over appointment setting. So the company's layout is this. It's real simple is that there are the highest contract levels amongst the industry, period, across the board. You have to call me to find out what these contract levels are. Anybody on Facebook that's interested in this industry, you need to contact me, 352-255-2594. 352-255-2594. Anybody on the webinar, you already know the contract levels. I know everybody's extremely excited about that part. We need to handle the training portion of this. That is the part where we learn as managers how to get others doing what we've done for many years. So we need to get a bunch of us underneath us is what our goal is. If we get a bunch of us underneath us, let's play the rule of two. I mean, really simple numbers. If we take two individuals, two managers, I take Jeremy and I take John Medlin, and I put two people underneath you, and they put 200 people, that's an MLM business. However, we're doing training. We're making sure that these people are hired, they're qualified, we're talking to them, we're, we're, we're actually interviewing, and there's going to be an interview questionnaire put in place. I don't want to hire an MLM business here, guys. That's not what I'm in for. I do want to help a lot of people through a lot of educated individuals, though. Let me take a swig of this. Oh, that's the good stuff there, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to train on um, – on uh, just phones today, period. I, I really think that that's the start of the game, man. And once I get, I got a lot of appointment setters coming on board, guys. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to, I, I'm, I'm a delegator, man. That's how I grow businesses. You delegate this stuff out. And if you can do that, when you're in a financial position to do that, um, I've noticed that in the beginning, it was no good when I was doing it. So period, when I was doing delegation, I was like giving stuff out for, you know, to people to dial and they weren't really doing it. I wasn't trained enough to give it out. So what you need to do is become the expert first. So when you become the expert first on anything, then you can delegate it out. Okay. But in certain businesses, and I don't think this is one of them, you can delegate work out that you don't know how to do, but there's certain aspects of this industry that you need to know how to do. And appointment settings, one of them. You got to become the expert before you can lean on somebody to become your expert at that position. So I'm going to train people for us on this right here. And I'm going to make sure that we have appointment setters and I can shovel them out to you. The one, you got huge contract levels, huge contract levels, guys. Not, no, no joke, huge. And you also have an appointment setter in place. You've got all the right systems in place, even hiring. If you notice that some of these places that we go to, when you hire individuals, you it can take two months to get them through. I mean, it does no good for you. You need to get it done in a week or two. Or two. People have to be contracted, and, and they got to be in the field within a week or two, period, to make money. That's the quick version. Slowing down, I'm trying to get somebody here on this, which is very important to me. Um, let me see here. I don't have their number on here. I need, I'm gonna to have to share my screen, I guess. How am I gonna do this? If I take Facebook Live off, I need, I hope I didn't just take Facebook Live off.
Give me one second, guys. I'm going to make sure everybody's on air and make sure that this. Okay, one second, guys. I'm almost ready. And the problem is, is that my damn thing doesn't get airways really quick. So, okay, I'm back, back, back. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back jamming, boom, boom, boom. Uh, bring them on camera, bring them on camera. What does that mean, bring them on camera anyway on Facebook? I'm still learning that. So anybody can tell me is watching, but what does bring me on camera mean? Okay, we're going to do the appointment setting part of this uh, thing here so the managers can learn how to set appointments properly. This is a simple, simple, simple script. Um, and, and tomorrow we're going to be doing it live. But for now, I'm just training on the details of appointment setting and, and, and some of the simplest words that I can use on a final expense tell a lead to start with is, you know, um, you have a tell a lead, by the way. Is this, do I have a, can I use a tell a lead list? Do you have one? Well, I don't have one. I have a more. How about this? Until she gets me, you don't have one. Tell lead. I got mortgage protection here. So this is what a mortgage protection lead looks like, anyway. Uh, for those of you that don't have never seen one, for it has the name, the telephone number, it has the amount that's owed. In this particular situation, it was sixty-two thousand five hundred. We sell this. I assume if it's sitting there in the sold box, we sold it. Uh, Got his name, got his address. So, hello, Mr. J and it says the, the lender up here. That's the important part of this puzzle. You're gonna connect yourself to the lender, meaning they're gonna think that you're a part of the whole deal. So, Mr. Uh, hey, is Dale there? Dale, my name's Jason. I'm calling on behalf of Paramount Resident Residential Mortgage Group. I'm the guy that handles the, uh, your area for the mortgage protection information that you requested. Uh, I'll be in your area tomorrow at 2 p.m. Can you have you and Mrs. Jones there at 2 p.m. for me? Boom. That's it. So I know there's some long-ass scripts out there, guys, but I would rather shrink my script up, get through it very quickly, get through the objections, because with any script, you're going to have objections. Now, at the end of this thing, I want to confirm some things. Now, this, this paints the picture of me coming. Now, if he's not married, and this guy isn't, I don't believe, uh, no, he's not. I'm going to ask this question. This is extremely important appointment setting. Is there anybody that helps you make important decisions? Is there anyone that helps you make important decisions? Don't say financial decisions. Say important decisions. See that? Important decisions. So when you help people make important decisions, that's less of a financial decision. They're not thinking about money, and you're able to get in a home and then talk about numbers. Your job is to go into that home and talk about numbers. Numbers equal sales. When you're able to add certain numbers up together and get numbers that are going out compared to what's coming in, you're able to teach people about what they have left over, and that is the number that you're to use inside a home. And that's why I get big numbers left, because I'm actually able to prove that they have $4,000, $1,000, $500 left a month over, you know? So it's fantastic, the, the sales presentation. And we'll be going over that Saturday, every Saturday at 10 a.m., by the way. So Dale is uh, in a position, he's a 58-year-old male, and I will have this illustration put together before I go out there nine times out of 10. <laughs> James Winters, what's cracking? Hey, expert, you broke it. So uh, what do I do with this, this lead here is I will follow up with him. Uh, if, he, if, if he doesn't buy, I'm going to set an appointment from an appointment. Uh, most of the time, nine times out of ten, if you follow my script, you will get him to buy. Again, I'm going to do this script again. I'm going to go a little slower now. This is a mortgage protection lead, okay? You want to ring, ring? Oh, okay. Well, nobody can hear you or see you, but so you don't want to, you don't want to be seen. Go ahead and talk. Tell me if you guys can hear Alyssa. Hello. We can hear you. All right. So, hi, is Alyssa there? This is she. Hi, Alyssa. I'm calling on behalf of uh, Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. Uh, you had requested some information on uh, mortgage protection. You remember doing that? 
Not really. Oh, you know what? That's okay. Uh, you will tell you what, Paramount Residential Mortgage, you know who that is though, right? Yes. Okay, well, I'm the guy that helps them get people their mortgage protection information. I'm going to be out there about 2 p.m. I'm going to need you and Mr. Jones there too. Are you going to have Mr. Jones there with you too? Well, you know what? I talked to my husband and we changed our mind. We don't really want that anymore. I'll tell you what, what I'm going to need to do then is get you the guys to sign off on this. So since I'm in the area already, I'm going to drop the packet off. You guys can look over. And then that's no big deal for me to do. How do you, how's that work for you? Is that okay? No, that? we really don't want anyone coming to the house. Okay. She's really fucking busting me up here. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Not a problem at all. I'll tell you what. I'll talk to you guys uh, another time. I'm going to give you guys a call back next week, see if something else opens up. Work for you? Yes. That's all right. Thanks a lot, babe. Thank talk you. to you soon. Bye. So, at the end of that, I didn't lose her. I have another appointment. Remember this. When you're dialing that phone, you never know what state of mind people are in. Okay, so very important that you don't think too hard about this. Just remember, this fucking thing has no shelf life, man. Stick this on a shelf. It has no shelf life. You can dial this. You can hand this to one of your downline, and they can sell it later. Just because her attitude was bad later, hey, Alyssa, you mind giving me a good attitude next time? All right, let's do it again. Ring, ring. Is Alyssa there? Uh, this is Shay. Hi, Alyssa. My name is Jason with Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. I'm calling on behalf of that group there. And I know you've just recently gotten some mortgage protection. I'm the guy that helps you uh, protect that. I have information that you requested about mortgage protection. Do you think that you and Mr. Jones would be available tomorrow at 2 for me to drop that information off? Uh, good morning. Oh, morning's morning. great. I'll do 9 a.m. How's that work for you? That's fantastic. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. But can you do me a favor? Can you write this down with me? I'm jotting this into my notes. And I'm going to make sure that I'm there at 9 a.m. And what time did we say? Uh, no, we said 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock. All right. 10 o'clock. She's. It's almost like real. <laughs> you know what I mean? So okay, 10 a.m. All right, 10 a.m. We'll get with you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Write it down for me, please. And you and Mr. Jones will be there, right? Yes. Okay, you and Mr. Jones are together. And we'll be, see you at uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m., Melissa. You forgot to verify the address. Oh, I, I, I'm kind of speeding through it, but I do want to confirm your address is, you know, 2493. I was hinting on this part, and I'll get to the address part. I do want to confirm the address that she did. But I want this to be about how many times that I confirmed that appointment, okay? I got her to say yes four times to confirming the appointment, all right? I did it once when I said what time it was. I did it once when she corrected what time it was. I did it once when I re-asked her to tell me what time it was. I did it at the end to confirm that she heard it. And then I did it on the goodbye. That's five times that I said the, not the, the time that we were going to set this appointment at. So you can't lose when you grind it in like that. They're going to be there, okay? So make sure you grind it, man. Okay, that's mortgage protection, and she is absolutely correct. You're going to want to confirm the fact that this, this woman's there with her husband. If not with her husband, it needs to be with somebody that helps her make important decisions. Now, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, okay, tomorrow Saturday at 9 a.m., we're going to be going over the appointment setting, uh, and we're going to go in a home, too. But for now, it's just appointment setting. So any appointment setters on this phone, telephone call, I need you taking notes down because this is about you. The reps, the sales managers, reps who are going to build an organization with us, this is about you too. This is how we get this information out to our, to our sales reps on a very, very large basis. I want everybody on Facebook and everybody on this webinar to connect with this so we can get a lot more people drilled in. Now, anybody that's coming at the top of this pyramid that we're building, and this is a new IMO starting, guys, is that you're going to want to get in early, okay? Territories wide open, the highest contract levels in the country. You guys need to call me about contract levels. They are enormous, okay? So back to this appointment setting thing with the final, final expense. Final expense appointment setting is done. Same as that mortgage protection, a little different. Hi, I'm doing a follow-up call to this. This is telesales, okay? So it means that they've already received a telephone call. They've already basically confirmed the fact that they want the information because you have a recording that tells you, uh, yeah, Mrs. Jones went through all this on the telephone and it confirms that she wants the information from you. So 24 hours later, you're getting a lead 
that is hot. I mean, it's brand freaking new. They can't even forget that they did this. How could you screw this up? Unless you're calling a week later, it's the only way you can screw this up. So jump on your leads quickly. So hello, ring, ring. Hi, is Alyssa there? Alyssa, Alyssa my name's Jason. I'm doing a follow-up call to the call that you received yesterday about that final expense information you requested. You requested? I'm not sure about that. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. That was just 24 hours ago. I mean, it was uh, just yesterday that you had received the phone call. So it stated that your favorite color was pink. Is that oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now okay, right. see where that came in? So your favorite color was pink. You can't lose, man. You got a way to confirm the fact, and that's the way you do that. So at the end of the day, I want to confirm your address. Are you at uh, 3458 uh, Warbler Street, uh, Florida, Orlando, Florida? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, let me ask you a question. Is there anybody else you make important decisions? No, I do that all myself. Are you sure about that? You just want to, you want to do it on your own? You don't have, who would be your, I can do it myself. Who would be your beneficiary? Uh, my son. Does he need to be there? No, he doesn't want nearly. Okay, so you see how I got that out of her. When there's nobody else to do it, you always ask for the beneficiary. That's the person who generally will be at that house. So when you're only saying, is there, is there anybody that helps you make important decisions? They're thinking, nobody helps me make financial decisions in a way. She knows she's going to spend some bread on this. But in the other sense, she's thinking, you know, well, hold on a second. If I ask for a beneficiary, that's a different thing. So that's very important stuff there. So I hope you guys got that. That's important. Any appointment setters out there who have questions, by the way, uh, you can feel free to unmute and ask, or you can ask questions right here in this little uh, get up, this Jeremy's little cute. chat box. Oh, Jeremy's cute, she said. Does everybody see Jeremy? <laughs> He's got spiky dude like me, cute. man. He's young. <laughs> all right so got it cut yesterday nice all right here we go we have the final suspense we got the confirm confirmation uh Alyssa, we're gonna need to set a time to 2 p.m work for you tomorrow yes okay 2 p.m we'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m i'm gonna write this down in my book and i'm gonna need you to do the same please so we don't miss this up um let's get this down for 2 p.m tomorrow okay and uh i will see you tomorrow what time all right. I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m., Alyssa. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. 2 p.m. Bye-bye. Boom. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I'm just like, freaking Lauren efficient. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure that this thing's grounded, guys. There's no way that this woman's going to forget when I say five different times, 2 p.m. I need you guys saying 2 p.m. five times. If you don't get the five times, something's screwed up in a script, and you're just afraid to say it. Don't let them take freaking control of you. I want you to remember something. If you continue to keep your lead flow steady, you can just flop them into a bad set, a bad day lead pile. It's not your bad day. It's their bad day. They just don't feel like talking to your ass that day. And they're not as comfortable. So flip it into a bad day pile and then move on to the other leads. Let it be about the numbers. Put the pressure on the numbers and not yourself and you'll always win. Okay, I promise you. Put the pressure on the numbers, not yourself. Because when I'm in a field and I'm up to 10 people have said no, and I just had this happen recently, and I was just like flipping out. Now, I have 15 appointments set, okay? So I'm still good. I got five chances. I got three more. I want to think about it. Holy hell, it's the first week I've ever struck out this hard. The last two, one's $8,000. One deal, eight grand, Okay. I filled out all kinds of final expense apps. He couldn't even qualify for index and shit. I, I did every final expense company I could possibly do. And then I had another one for $13,000. So what is it? It was a $21,000 two sale hit. Boom. You know what I mean? And $136,000 indexed annuity, which will make me five or 10,000 bucks. So we're talking about 25 large there, guys, in, 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 in basically a single two days, single two days, okay? Really, it's about three days. So when you're able to make $25,000 a week uh, selling final expense or mortgage protection, I mix them both up. And when you mix mortgage protection and final expense, you can't lose. It's a very, 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 very powerful tool. 
having both of those strategies come in. And if you're not doing mortgage protection, you gotta question yourself, why am I not doing mortgage protection? Why wouldn't I do it? Why, why not? It gives you the best lead resource. Everybody wants to see you. And the only competition you have is yourself because you're not dialing the numbers quick enough. As Soon as that lead comes in, Alyssa's on the phone. She's the appointment setter here. She sets that, boom. You know what I mean? Right into the house. So anybody that's going to be an appointment setter for me um, really needs to get, I got scripts. I got objection sheets. We need to go through some objections. When you get on the phone, you're going to have several objections. And they're real simple to get through. One, how much, you know what? How much is this going to cost me? You know what? This ain't going to take any food off the table. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. That's it. I know it sounds quick and easy, but it is. This isn't going to take any food off the table. Really, if you want a kind of a guesstimate, it's about 25 cents to a dollar a day. It's like less than a cup of coffee. Promise you won't take any food off the table. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Does that work? You okay with that? Yep. You see Jeremy even said, yep. Yeah. I got him saying yes. <laughs> so you know what that's from? That's from me nodding my head occasionally. And I want everybody's eyes on me right now. Everybody check this out. See this? This movement right here? Even over the phone, it helps you get manipulating the, the situation a little better for yourself. And when you're in the house and you do that, forget about it. You'll get, you'll get yeses all day long, okay? Nod that head, man. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Get that going. Now, we have another objection to go over. You know what? I'm really not interested. I already have it. You know what? That's great. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to think about all the years you've had this and all the accumulated cash value you've built up. Now, can you imagine this? I could probably get you, how many years have you had that policy? Well, I've had it for 10 years. Well, think about this. If you bought a $10,000 policy and you've been paying on it, the cash value is what? The cash value is about $6,000. Oh, the cash value is six, dollars 4000 whatever it may be. I'm just making numbers up. Uh, let's say it's 4000 bucks. You understand? Company now only owes you six thousand. Four of it's yours. So why don't we do this? Why don't we take a look at all your options? Just look at your options, Mr. Jones, and let's see if we can get you into the new product that's the same amount of money, or I get you more life insurance for the same amount, and we're able to get you that four thousand bucks back, which is your cash. Let me ask you something, Mr. Jones. Right now, can you use an extra four grand today? There ain't no too many people that are going to say no to this, guys. So use the cash value in that situation if somebody already has it, okay? Battle back with that. Guys, learn to get thrown off the phone, man. Don't be the first off the phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have them hanging up on you. And if they do hang up on you, there's two ways they hang up on you. The way you set the appointment, and the other way is they, get, they told you to go to hell. Either way, a sale was made. But let's get, let's, let's, get, let's get real. We want the first one. We want to make sure that they're on there saying, hey, you know, I want this person in my house. I, I accepted the fact that I filled out the, uh, the card to make sure that, the, that this is confirmed that we're getting in the home due to a card that's filled out, guys. Remember this. They asked to be contacted. You understand that? They asked to be contacted. Right? So... I want to go over how many more objections am I missing? Is there anybody that can throw an objection at me that they run into a lot? Anybody have any objections out there? Oh, I already have some. I went over that, baby. This was up. Where? Oh, I can't afford it. Went over that one too. Thanks. Let's go over them again. Can't afford it. You know what? This. I want you guys to remember these words, too. They're very powerful. This will not take any food off the table, all right? If I had to guess, due to your age, it's probably going to be roughly uh, anywhere from 25 cents to 75 cents a day. You know, I promise you, it's not going to take any food off the table. And you need to keep talking, too, guys. You don't open it up, mic. It's not an open mic. you got to talk. Talk your way through this. So at the end of this thing, what you're doing is you're getting them to say yes to you coming out again. So look, it's not going to take any food off the table. If I were to guess it's 25, 75 cents a day. And um, at the end of this program, you know, it's going to be well worth the time you spent with me. Remember, there is no financial obligation. I'm just bringing you information. Look, remember what I just told you. It's just information. Okay. 
They're bored out of their freaking minds anyway, man, if they're retired. They want people to talk to. And if you can sound like the guy that they want to talk to, forget about it. You're going to do very well. Let me ask you a couple questions here. Uh, uh, let's see here. How about I didn't ask for it, okay? If it's an internet lead or any type of lead since I've heard it before from all sources. Uh, I didn't ask for it. You know what? If they didn't ask for it, then why are you calling them? So let me put it this way. If you didn't ask for it, there's got to be a malfunction in somebody's program. Now, Mrs. Jones, please bear with me. I need to know what's wrong with my company too. So if you can just tell me, did you fill out anything on the internet lately? Now, what I need that, Ramon, what I need you to do with that one is confirm what they did with it. Did they get it on the internet? Did they not? If they didn't, what did I tell you to do? I told you to put it in the pile of people that is a bad day for them. Okay, and I want you to move on. This is where you need to keep your lead flow coming in. Keep the leads rolling in, guys. Do not stop the lead flow. If the rent is due, buy leads. If the car payments due, buy leads. If your girlfriend's starving, buy leads. You got to keep the flow going, guys, because I'm going to tell you something those diapers don't get bought, the house payment doesn't get made, your car doesn't get fueled, you don't eat unless you buy the resources. So stop starving yourself and be an entrepreneur and go all in by studying. All of you right here on here today, I applaud you. It is three freaking o'clock in the afternoon, man, and you're trying to learn something about something that you may not or may know, and you're trying to get a gold nugget from it. And I hope that I can distribute those gold nuggets. But let's continue. Anybody have any more objections for me? Jeremy, give me a big objection that somebody would give to you. Uh, anything. It doesn't fucking matter. What it is. It's not really like they won't be there. I won't be there tomorrow. Uh, I've got a doctor's I'm, appointment tomorrow. You're pretty, that's a pretty impressive one. That's a good one because uh, that, that one means that, um, you know, that, that, that they are possibly interested, but they just don't have the time tomorrow. So your job is to find that gap for them and say these words. Say, look, I understand you're not prepared for tomorrow, but I'll tell you what, since I'm already in the area on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to tell you what, for you, I'm going to make an exception. Let's do it on Thursday, Thursday at 6 p.m. Would that work? Look at your schedule. Just tell what, what fits in your schedule. And then you keep calling out numbers until you get hung up on or it's over with, you know? Now, bad day pilot, if it, if it ends up that way, Jeremy. But at the end of this thing, you should be able to door knock it, right, and go right to the door. Now, here's a secret to door knocking, guys. Very important that you guys all hear this out because this is a powerful strategy for door knocking. All the stickers that you use, you go to the door, you put the sticker on, right? You wait for the call. So they're going to call you back. At the bottom of the sticker, I want you to write Miss Delivery because most of the cards don't come with that. They don't say that on there. Write it in handwriting. Write Miss Delivery. And – Put Mr. Jason, J, something like that. Try to change your name up a little bit because they might have heard it over the phone and then recognize you and then not call you back. But as soon as they call you back, as soon as you look at that number on your phone, match it to the list of people that you door knocked, and you go right to that house right there and then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get to that house, man. They're home. <laughs> you know they're home, boss. You got that right, man. Yes, sir. They are home. Iron Kaminsky, how you doing, buddy? You doing good? You healthy? You, you feeling good? Oh, my father, I said, what's up? You should be proud of this thing he raised. I kind of raised myself, though. Hey, listen, we got more objections. I know there's more objections out there that we get over the telephone. How about in-home? You get any objections in the home, even? Um, you know, I want to think about it. It's a big one, right? How about I want to think about it in the house? That's a huge one. Okay, you know what? Let me do something here. Um, and you spend just a half hour with them. You know what I mean? You got a half hour invested into these individuals, and now that now they want to think about it. Okay, if you're with a couple, this is simpler than being with some one man army guy like a marine or something. You know what I mean? He wants to think about. It. He's got muscles, and he just wants to think about it. Just go on to the next one. Really, you could try this, which I'm about to give to you, and it's this. You know what? I'm going to review some things here. I'm going to make sure that I got all the information correct. Uh, for, for my own self. So just give me a minute here.
we stated that you had $250,000 a year coming in. We stated that you have $2,000 in uh, uh, Social Security coming in. We stated that your bills are about $4,000 a month outgoing and that you have about, what, you got about $20,000 a month coming in. That leaves about $16,000 a month. And you have two policies only worth about 10000 bucks, And we're trying to cover a $400,000 mortgage here. So why don't we take a look at this? And because of your health issues, if anything goes wrong with your health, all this comes off the table immediately. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to think about it. You know what? That's great. But here's what a problem I have with that. Is I'm not going to be in the area for quite some time. So how about we do this? Why don't we fill out the paperwork? And then you can contact me with a yes or a no. Okay? How's that sound? You open to that? Let's just get the paperwork done. That way I don't have to drive back out here. And there's no, you know, I don't have any, I, I will just literally hold on to it at my office. And then when you call me, we'll put the app through and that'll give you time to think about it. Here's another scenario you can put yourself in is that the app won't go through for two freaking weeks, nine times out of 10, if it's mortgage protection, if it's final expense, it's a very quick turnaround. So they probably have two days. Now you could set it, you could set it 30 days out up to 30 days out on most apps. So just remember, set it like this, Jeremy. I want to think about it. Well, look, you know, you know, no payment for 30 days. Really, you're going to have 30 days to think about it. Isn't that, that's a lucky you, man. Let's get this done. Assume the sale, man. Write it down. Start getting your, get your freaking app out and start writing. Stop being so afraid of these people. They're punks. They're punks with money. <laughs> you know? They, most of the time, nine times out of 10, they're really cool people who actually want it. You know what I mean? If you're good, if they've got to trust you. Guys, we get 30 minutes to one hour to convince somebody that we're the man or that we're the woman. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you do it well, man. Really, do it right. Do Say the right language. Um, John, John Trice, are you still on here? I am. I am. Do you have any final expense sales tips uh, for the phone? Uh, any objections that you see come up a lot over your years in doing this? Well, I was going to give you one on mortgage protection if you want to hear it. I love it. I'd love to. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons I don't get I want to think about it is because I tell them a story. It's a true story, and John Medwin may have heard it me tell it. And it's just kind of weird that we're right here on the anniversary. But uh, a number of years ago, I sat down with a fellow – and it was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and we forgot that it was Thanksgiving. And his wife's in there trying to get everything ready for the next day, and the kids are in there. And we're halfway through the presentation. His wife's coming in and out. Kids are about to set the kitchen on fire. And he's, she looks up, and he says, John, we want it. Can you just come back in a couple of days after Thanksgiving? I, I said, sure, I'll do that for you, because the kids were about to tear the kitchen up. So anyway, I left, and an agent called me up who's a friend of mine that works that area, and she said, you don't need to go see Mr. Swan. And I said, why? Did he change his mind or something? Because she did his health. And she said, no, he got killed crossing the uh, 440, U.S. 441 going to uh, Commerce Lumber. To, he was a carpenter. And I went, oh, no. And she said, yeah, because they didn't have what they needed. They really didn't have what they needed. So when I tell that story to a couple, I say, I don't want to ever feel that way again because I knew I made a rookie mistake. I let that couple down. Those kids are in a world of hurt. The wife's in a world of hurt, all because I didn't spend 10 more minutes sitting down, filling out the paperwork and running it in the kitchen to get her to sign it. And I said, all I'm going to ask for you and Alyssa to do is when we get to the end of this presentation, we have a ladies and gentlemen's agreement. You're going to say yes. Yes, that works for us. That sounds great. Let's get the underwriting. Let's see if we qualify or no, John. It's just not for us. Is that fair? Because we both know that we want to think about it as just a nice Southern way of saying no. Yeah, right. So, John, and, story. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and then they, say, they look at each other and I say, because I don't want to ever be in that situation. Because I put them in that situation. I said, can you imagine how horrible it was for Christmas knowing that their husband was her husband and father wasn't there? And now they have to worry about paying all those bills. Can you imagine how that was? And that was my fault. 
So, I said, they didn't say yes or no. I said, so I'm going to give you that opportunity. Can we have a ladies and gentlemen's agreement to say yes or not? And they'll all say, yeah. That's why when they come to say, so and some of them still do, so we want to think about it. I just say, bring it up. Wait a minute. We had an agreement. Yes is fine. No is fine. I just really, and I've had actually had the wife say, we're going to get it. And the husband say, no, yes, we're going to get it. And she just wrote the check out and handed it to me. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Right. You just got to get that. You and I think it's because you know, so men. What they the don't, words that you use? Forever. What do you what do you tell? What could you tell us to use? What words would we use in the home? It, 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 ladies and gentlemen, agreement. Is that how you say it? I always say, can we just have a ladies and gentlemen's agreement? And and they, because I'm just assuming that you know. And I always say it's it's okay to say yes. It's okay to say no. It just I just want to never be in that situation again. Is that fair enough? And then when I say, is that fair enough? Those words, fair enough, uh, they'll always say yes. People always say yes, fair enough, because they don't want to think they're unfair. Fair enough is, is an extremely powerful strategy that I've used again and again. I've noticed myself using it more. I don't know, man. You're right, John. That's a home run, that fair enough. Alyssa, pull that curtain. You ain't that turkey, man. I'm trying to be a chef and train you guys. <laughs> But that's the, the the two words that the two words that I think are most uh, powerful in a presentation are shaking your head like you mentioned and just saying fair enough. Some people actually reach across the table and shake hands like it's a, it's a contract. You um, know, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that that'd be pretty powerful stuff too. Is that that handshake? I mean, you know, if you can do that, bef I usually do it at the door. And as as much as you hate not to shake the guy's hand who's telling you he wants to think about it at the end of this story. You need to walk out there with your chest high, knowing that the numbers fall in your direction. You always got to remember that the numbers are in favor of you. Okay, you've got to keep moving towards the number that's going to get you the sale that you deserve, and stop worrying about these people that say no so much too. And always, always, always remember, like Jeremy, you told me you went out a couple times, and that last little bit, you said, "I'm going to turn a car and I'm headed to a deal." And instead of going home, Jeremy goes out and he does a five, six thousand dollar deal or something. And these are stories all over the place, guys. You really have the ability to make a lot of freaking money. You just got to get through the numbers, and you have to have the right. There's a there's a language in the in the life insurance business. There's a language that we use, but it's so easy. It's so simple after you've repeated it a million times. <laughs> so. It's, 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 now you don't need to repeat it a million times, but you know, you got to repeat it a lot, guys. You really got to be effective, effectively doing this a lot inside your car when you're driving down the road. Instead of jamming tunes all day long, you got to come up with this. Listen to these webinars, uh, go over the strategies that I have. I'm going to do these DVD sets, John Trice, and I'm going to get them organized in a way where all this stuff is on DVD for everybody, and that all you have to do is pop in the DVD and it's going to go over each section of life insurance and it's going to rip it apart piece by piece. So if you need to learn how to do final expense life insurance, it's going to be in there. If you need to learn how to set final expense appointments, it's going to be in there. If you need to learn how to get referrals, it's going to be in there. Hey, John, you have any ideas on referrals? Uh, well, yeah, John Medwin gave me uh, probably the ultimate referral. Uh, I don't know if he's on here. I think hey, he still is. Yeah, he's got the ultimate referral with the uh, new ebook that we've got. What's your, uh, John Medwin, can you tell us what your referral is to get referrals? Let me unmute you. Can you tell us, John Medwin, what, John Trice said you have a uh, uh, referral uh, thing that you use. Yeah, we, we got an ebook that'll uh, tell them how to get their, their mortgage paid off and all their debts in 10 years or less. Oh, wow. Okay. No, oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, and, and so uh, it, it's actually through a whole life policy that's like being your own bank and it kind of walks you through that process. Is there a way that all these people can get this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, think about it. They, they've got a 30 year debt hanging over their head. Who in the world wouldn't want to do that? You know, so it's like, who do you know that's, that's got a, you know, would like to pay the mortgage? And of course, you know, you're going to talk to them about it as well. But yeah, right. So do you guys have a link for that? Yeah, Jason, we do, but I've sent you some information on that. That's part of a selling system. 
Okay. So we'll it. talk about we'll talk about that because that uh, actually is proprietary information. All right. Good. So all right, I'm gonna mute you back up, John. John Trice. Yes. Thank you. Well, is anything you guys can do to help the, the just a, a handful of people? If it's for your stone team, I just want it for managers only, not everybody. So. Uh, and I was hey. going to tell you something about final expense too. Now I don't sell final expense for a living, but I did uh, attend a webinar from a guy who makes a lot of money doing it. Yeah. And I tell you now, some of your agents that work these areas will get this right away. He goes to every funeral home and gets their prices, and they're required by law to give you that. By the way, that's correct, right? He I'm just not. walks in and says, "Hey, can I have the uh, the cost?" Of, and, and they think that he's going to be a customer, so he's, he just gets that. He puts it in a book. And when he sits down with these people, he said, do you already have your uh, home picked out? Oh, yeah, we're going to use Bernstein's. And he said, well, okay, let's look at the price on Bernstein's. And he'll flip it over and start showing them what a funeral actually costs. Then it's yeah. not them telling you, oh, your funeral is going to be $15,000. It's huge. Bernstein's telling them it's going to be fifty. dollars uh, Right. That's, that's huge, man. And I've used it. I have books filled in separate counties Close to even, even if I drive past one, I'll whip in and be like five or 10 minutes late to an appointment just to get that shit off these people. You know, it is so powerful, John, what you just stated, getting the, getting the, the, the funeral home to give you the actual cost of what a funeral cost in that area and then running out to the appointments, uh, to the home, uh, the lead and then presenting that to them letting them know one way or the other, have they actually chosen it? And on flip side B, if they haven't chosen it, this is what they have to look forward to. Which is bananas. So, okay guys, what time is it? It's 3.30. I want everybody to join in. Tomorrow's gonna be a, a longer scheduled, uh, uh, kind of a, more of like a boot camp setting. So anybody that's going to come on here tomorrow, please, 10 a.m., I want you to set appointments from 9 to 10. I'm going to run from 10 to about 10.30, 11, and then you can even start at 8.30. If you do one hour of solid dialing, like I said, this is Jones, this is Jason, I'm doing a follow-up call to the call that you received yesterday about that final expense information. I'm the man that handles your area. I'm the rep. I'm going to be in your area on Monday at 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. to get you this information. So while I'm in the area, can you can you sacrifice one of those times for me on 1 or 3? Oh, sure, dear. I'll give you 1 a.m. 1 p.m. Okay, great. Um, this is uh, I'm going to confirm your address. Always confirm address. Confirm the address. Okay. Once she says yes, confirm address. Confirm one. Confirm address. 123 B Street, yeah, okay, Orlando, Florida, that's great. Uh, number two, Mrs. J Mrs. Uh, Jones, what, what time did we say again? We said uh, 1 p.m., is that correct? Yeah, we said 1 p.m. Okay, do me a favor, I'm going to have you write this down with me. And while we're doing that, is there anybody that helps you make important decisions? Are you married, basically? Uh, yeah, I am. Is your husband available? Now, if he's not available, you know not one leg this. You wait till the husband's available. So, okay, he can't show up at that time. Okay, Mrs. Jones, does he still work? Yes, he does. Okay, well, since I'm going to be out there till 9 p.m., I tell you what, just for you, I'm going to see you guys at 5 p.m. Does that work? Yes, that'll work. Did you see what I just did there? I pivoted a little bit because I don't want to go for a one leg where she's going to have to ask the old man, well, how much, you know, what she's able to spend. He's a big part of the deal. He's the one that either got a croak or he's collecting on her. Uh, there's two choices there. So either way, he's going to want to buy this stuff for her. So, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to set that appointment. I got that in stone. We're going to set that, writing that down in your book. I'm writing it down in my schedule. I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. with your husband, correct? Yes, you will, dear. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. All right? All right, great. That's it, man. Look how simple that was. It's fast. It's quick. It's boom, 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 right to the point. And then at the end of this thing, if you just smoothly pick that phone up, like it's a freaking Jedi sword, man, you will cut through butter with that thing. You'll cut through all your financial issues. All of them will disappear through that phone. You want to know how to win this game, man? You learn that damn phone. Don't worry about so much the in-home. Those that set the most make the most. Remember that. The cheddar is better 
when you make, whoa, dude, what did you just dodge there? <laughs> Is that a bee? <laughs> My boy's like, whew. But anyway, long story short, listen, mortgage protection, one more time. Hi, uh, calling on behalf of ABC uh, Mortgage Lending, and I'm the rep that handles the area for you. I had uh, received this notice that you wanted some information on fine, uh, mortgage protection, I'm sorry, and um, I'm going to be in the area to deliver that to many other uh, people in your area, so I'm Guy Jason, by the way. I'm going to be in the area from like 1 till 6 p.m. Uh, there are many um, ways of setting appointments. I'm giving you a different style. Because each individual, I'm gonna, when I do my DVD sets, I'm going to set it up so there's all kinds of different styles of, of setting because there's all kinds of different people. And it might be a different style that you deliver with better than I deliver with. So with this one here, it's real smooth too, but it's just more of a conversation piece on my behalf, giving them less room to talk and just going right for the appointment setting. Mr. Jones, you have Mr. Jones that can be available too at 1 p.m.? You say what time I'm setting these appointments to, guys? I think somebody asked me how I was avoiding being in the field past 4 p.m. You know, I'm, I'm usually home by 5 o'clock, guys. I, mean, I swear to you, if, if latest, maybe 7. But I'm not a mortgage protection uh, rep, professional, sales professional, who is out till 9 o'clock at night selling deals at night. My first appointment's either at 9 or 10 a.m., 12 to Four, four, and that's three days a week, sometimes two, and that's it. And that's where I'm getting. Now, when I teach you guys how to get larger, uh, larger premiums, my premiums, I'll easily write down 200, 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000. Everybody knows I sell large premiums. I'm not afraid to write 2,000 bucks down. Why? Because your house is a half a million bucks, dude. Your age is 70 years of age. That's what it costs, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. I can't help it. I don't set the cost. And guess what? Here's what I found out. It's nine times out of 10 in the house. These people are trying to double up on their mortgage anyway to get it done half time so they can die and not have a mortgage behind. So I just tell them this. Look, why don't you die in peace knowing that tomorrow if you died, that the whole damn house is paid off using the same number you were going to use but you were only $2,000 less in your premiums for the house, the mortgage, next month. With this, it pays everything off completely if you die tomorrow. That makes sense, Mr. Jones. And how about this? Check out this cash value sheet. When you're able to use the companies that I use for cash value index universal lives and overfund these damn things, like each one of you should have your own too and overfund it. Put 500 bucks a month into a 7% interest earning index universal life product and see what happens to your future. Watch compound interest at its best. Do not forget to do that, please. There's more, there's more ways to make money than just going out there and selling. Okay, so all you managers out there, get your team onto this thing. I need everybody recruiting, shouting out all the numbers that we're able to give. The highest contract levels in the industry. I have them at this point. We are an IMO now, so we are. We, are, we have the ability to, to, to stand with the big boys, okay? So at the end of the day, go out there, make a mess of it, come back to me, I'll help you with the mess you made, and then you will have an education. Really, guys, if you go out there and make a mess of it, I want to know about the bad times. I don't want to know when you're selling. I want to know, I do want to know when you're selling too, because I want to see what the numbers look like. Why are you only selling $50 apps? And I'll tell you why is because you can go over to finances with them. That's it. Be quick about it too, man. When I do the finances, last thing I want to tell you guys, when I do the finances, by the way, I have the sheet. I know everybody asked me for the sheet, and I needed to get that some thick corrections on her. I apologize about getting the sheet out there. One more time, if you guys could send me a repeated text message with um, a fax machine number or an email. A fax machine number would work best for me. That way I can just fax it. Um, I can email it too. So I need you to send me your email or fax number if you want all the sheet work that I use inside my homes. When I'm doing this, I know what the mortgage is monthly. I can guess the electric. It's 100 to 150 bucks. I can also tell people what the hell they have going on with their food habits. 50 to 100 bucks a week. 
So do the monthly, subtract it from what's coming in. Who makes two of the higher social security numbers out of you two? Because the reason I'm asking is because that's what your significant other is going to be left with. There's a reason you're allowed to ask, man. You're the professional. You know what I'm saying? So act like it. Act like a goddamn professional and you will be, they'll, they'll, they'll see it that, okay? They won't, they won't see it that. So anybody wants to sheet work? Anybody have any questions before I get out of this? You know what I like? I love our gig, man. I wish to God I would have found this years and years and years ago. It is so easy when you do it the right way to make 20 grand in three days. It is so easy to make $5,000 a day. It really is. If you just think about how we're so fucking spoiled that when we make a thousand bucks a week in a couple hours, we're like, shit. You know, it's like, damn. <laughs> We're so spoiled that it's, it's, it's amazing that, you know, that people are working two weeks, 40 hours a week, plus drive time to make what you made in an hour. Okay? That's sick. Respect the business. All right. Got to roll, guys. Turkey's up. Hey, listen. Thank you all for being here. I got a 10 a.m. sales training webinar in home tomorrow, 10 a.m., Anybody wants the link, text me at 352-255-2594. That's 352-255-2594. Or hit me up on Facebook for all you Facebook cats out there. And anybody on the webinar that wants to be on the webinar tomorrow, it's 10 a.m. It'll be sales training. We're going to go over this stuff again. I need everybody to get these uh, scripts down. So we need to write the scripts out. I need to fax that over to you. Fax numbers and emails, please, uh, for anybody who wants my information. Guys, I salute you. Thank you for being on here. Great job.